In the last two years, crime in New South Wales has either fallen or stayed stable across pretty much every major category, except one, and that's sexual assault. The number of women coming forward to police to say they've been sexually assaulted has grown significantly and continues to rise, with reports up to 21, up 21 per cent in just the last year. But it's not necessarily that there have been more assaults, but rather an increase in awareness, thanks largely to the advocacy of three young women. The drum Stephanie Bolchi has this story. Brittany Higgins alleges she was sexually assaulted by a male colleague. Chanel Contos was sexually abused by a student. Empowering sexual abuse survivors to speak out. That's what the 2021 Australian of the Year, Grace Tame, hopes to achieve. Grace Tame, Brittany Higgins, Chanel Contos. They've been catapulted into the spotlight and upended the national conversation about sexual assault. It does look like people in the community were just motivated to come forward with their stories of sexual assault in response to that strong public conversation. There was a 61% increase in the number of people reporting they'd been sexually abused in March. Even if you took out that month, reports in the year increased 16.2%. That also included recent and historical child sexual assaults. I guess we can never tell with sexual assault how much of this is due to an increase in um, prevalence or the actual um, occurrence of sexual assault and how much is due to motivation to report. When Chanel Contos posed this question on Instagram. Have you or has anyone close to you ever been sexually assaulted by someone who went to an all boys school in Sydney? She was inundated with experiences. More than 5,000 people have now come forward with their stories in response to that post. And it sparked a petition for sex ed to be made compulsory. It's also resulted in a New South Wales police operation to make it easier for survivors to report assault without necessarily charging anyone. The statistics agency says while this operation isn't responsible for the rise, it's helped. A lot of our sexual assault reports come from people just being aware of what reporting options they have. Detective Superintendent Jane Doherty is the commander of the Child Abuse and Sex Crime Squad, overseeing investigations across the state. We're continually reviewing the way we address sexual assault and sexual violence, looking in the next five, ten years, what we can do to make this a, a much better journey for victims. They've noticed a rise in assaults in the home, given that's where people are spending more time. But with greater awareness, people are also coming forward with years of abuse. Some people may report an incident that was actually 10, 15, 20 years ago, and it may be 30 or 40 um, various sexual assaults over that period of time. That will send our stats look like we've had 30 reports of a sexual assault on that one day, but it's one victim telling 15 years worth of uh, story. In Victoria, only one in seven incidents reported to police make it through the process to be proven in court. And it's similar in New South Wales. Last year, 17% resulted in a charge and only two thirds of that resulted in a conviction. Many victims just wanted the opportunity to tell their story and be heard. And we have those opportunities for people. To tell us more, consent education advocate Chanel Contos joins us from London. Welcome back to The Drum, Chanel, and good morning to you. Thank you so much for having me. Good afternoon. Now, <laughs> now we know that we're, we're being told that this is all your fault, Chanel. Um, there was a 61% spike in March. Now, this was at a time of conversations that were being led by Grace Tame, by Brittany Higgins. You launched your petition. How do you read these figures? So the March correlation to me, it's just so clear that that's when, um, you know, the 61% increase in New South Wales, that's exactly when Operation Vest was launched in New South Wales, which provided survivors an alternative reporting option and let them know about it. Um, and to me, it just shows that people are itching to hold their perpetrators accountable, but the current system isn't allowing that. So they're de-incentivised to report it.